Steve from ArcaWizard.com and eminiwizard.com on the 1st of April 2019, reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose. As a bot, trading has got to be somewhat easier than as a human. <clears throat> Currently, this is a, th a four minute chart. So we know it's a faster chart than that. Three minute chart seems to be the one that's pushing. And like I said, you've got to wait for these to catch up and then you can perhaps get that push. For the targets, we've got a, got a gap at 63 and change. And I, I said, I don't want to think about a strong directional move too early. And, and you see how they've taken that first bar, they've taken both sides out. This is a three minute bar. But this is the uh, ORG taking out both sides. And whether you use five or three, it, it's a little bit easier, I think, to use a smaller time frame like this when we have such an egregious move overnight. And this is what I, I said earlier that I don't think it's a directional move. I think we're going to get probing both sides. And you can see that down here and then back up. There's a five minute chart. We had this one on a three. So, so it looks like a pair of threes right now are working. And we've got a gap at 63 and a half. So the 52 stop <clears throat> with the 54 buy zone has worked to close that gap. That was the directional trade that we had suggested more than likely would happen. To, didn't have to happen right at the open, but certainly expected within the first uh, hour to hour and a half, the primary trade. In, in the old days, it was close your eyes and short. Look for that half gap. Now, you can't count on that as much anymore. Anyways, if you believe me that probably the best thing to do is to buy a pullback, make sure you get paid by that gap. We said target 62 to 65. And if they can, they're going to try to knock out that 66. Overnight high. 61 and a quarter has been taken out. So hard for <clears throat> humans to, to make this type of a trade to buy high, sell higher. But we're trying to show you the techniques and the charts that will help you to, to understand how to play that way. Now, if you've made the adjustment to your charts, then you have to keep going with the widget as you make a new high. A little bit cumbersome to, to account for, for that differential in range. And the other you can do is to Just simply put it back to to your instead of your your fixed price levels. If you want to put your your current in there, you can do it and get a look, and then switch it right back to your actuals. And if you don't like the tediousness of changing, then you just put it right back to the low, take it from there. But th this chart helps me. I like this chart. And so while it's a hair tedious to do, it, it certainly makes sense to, to take a look at this <clears throat> relationship.
And we said 52 probably will not get broken easily. That's still support and obviously that 54 ahead of it. So that's your squeeze pivot. You guys wanted to know before about squeeze pivots. There it is. There it is here. I said this was our squeeze pivot in here, right here, this little double. See that double? That's what you want to take note of. Uh, <laughs> Sean, in hindsight, I can easily tell you the question is what would have been a reasonable pullback to take to go long? Prob probably anyone you wanted that was back here near 48 or whatever probably wouldn't have been a good one. They probably would have, you know, got you trying to go the other way. But it's these aggressive trades that don't seem reasonable are the ones that I find that work. That's why this business is so hard. Because you go back and look, what, what time did I post that? It was early, seven o'clock, whatever. Currently, <clears throat> 54, squeeze pivot, then 52 and a quarter. That was posted at 7.04 a.m. So that was my interpretation of what was the area that likely to hold unless you take it out, right? There's a profit taking swing right now. So, so that was my feeling at the time. It's not reasonable, but it's probably the truth. That's what I was thinking. Which chart? Uh, the one that um, we just had, this one right here. Uh, I'll be happy to, I'll make a, I'll take a picture of that later. See, and that's one of the things that I'm looking for at the time. I'm saying, okay, 52. But this 54 looks even tighter. Because I see this double, I see this hole just above. This was the fake out right here. You can catch all the shorts. So, so now this is a profit taking swing. And, and that was our first consideration today. Who gets where first? So, so if you come down this way and you're into the 52s to 50, <clears throat> you're thinking, okay, we're gonna bounce. And if you get up here first, you're thinking, okay, they're going to be profits taken. And this is the, you know, opening reversal game. Right? Both sides can, you know, I said, I don't think we're going to get a directional move. Both sides can, can make some chips. <coughs> just because we are so high and, you know, gapped up so much that you're, you're thinking conservatively anything you get in your pocket. Remember I said two points, you make two points, be happy. You know, got about an eight point range. So I, I said, I don't think we're going to get a directional move. I think we're going to get <clears throat> some slop and chop. S simply because at this level, how do you trust it to go get another 10 points right now? You can't. Shorts have to undo the squeeze, have to undo the, the trap, have to take out this low and get and push back a little bit. Even so, I'm still thinking just too tight to expect a lot in either direction. Okay, here's our three minute chart. <clears throat> here's that opening range trade that we talked about. It's using a three minute bar. This is the ORG, opening reversal game. 
down and up, and then back into the range. And you can't count on this in a, say, a normal day where you, you've only got a small range overnight and no big gap, because then you can get the bigger move. But this is much more defensive posture saying, I don't think we're going to get a big one. We've already had it. So the better odds for, you know, quick profit taking and range type trading. Anyways, that's the way I look at it. Hope that helps. You can see how this has just been a perfect example of the ORG. Opening reversal game, non-directional. <clears throat> we opened up at 59 for RTH. And we've gone one side and we've gone the other and we're back into that range. Per perfect example of a non-directional move. We call it ORG, opening reversal game. And it's a nowhere pattern. It's just a chop pattern that <clears throat> probes one side, comes back through, probes the other side, profits get taken, come back in, and you're kind of right where you started. These are three-minute bars. Hope that helps you see that idea. I've got that on video for you. And and it's kind of helpful on a day when you're not expecting a big move in the you know in the IB, and it's because of the range that we've printed overnight, and and even from the end of the day. I mean, come on, this last swing started down here, right? This this was our remember I said 32 support. I mean that's our deep support. So I'm thinking from the end of the day, that's a 30 point push. And that's why this 62 target in here said, you know, don't don't go crazy thinking we're, we're just gonna scream up because we're still trying to wait for averages to catch up and we've come a long way. So this beginning of month bias is all I can understand and try to suggest to you buy the pullback. If you're wrong, you take your stop out. Hope that helps with this first hour.